When people lose their side vision due to homonymous, meaning the same, hemi meaning half, they've lost the same half of each eye. And that usually affects an older patient over 65 who's had a stroke due to some reason. We have children that have it. It could be sometimes it's trauma, sometimes it's stroke. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why it might happen, but it affects all ages. In the field of vision rehabilitation, our primary goal is to help the person function better, to try to make them use what they have left with more ability. And then through devices, technology, magnification, prism, we try to make them more aware of vision that they're missing or vision that is not working too well. When I was 26 years old, by various uh, things that happened, uh, it was discovered that I had what's called an arteriovenous malformation. They found it, removed it on the right visual cortex, which means that my left peripheral vision was gone. You discover pretty quickly, if somebody puts out their hand to shake your hand, you can't see it. I had a stroke, which paralyzed my left side and, and imparted my vision on my left. Well, after the stroke, it was immediate. It was on both, both my eyes. I couldn't, I couldn't see on the left at all. I mean, both sides, I think, were affected first. I didn't have any peripheral vision. You can imagine walking through a world with kind of a blinder on. You bump into things, everybody's moving rapidly in cities and you're bumping into things, um, door jams, whatever the case might be. I had frustrations for many years as a low vision clinician. When a patient would show up with visual field effect, I couldn't help them. It was a frustration that grew and grew and grew. At some point, I said, I'll have to come up with a solution myself. In terms of optical therapies, the Pelly Prism is the only optical therapy that I utilize. So what any prism does is it takes an image and shifts it. For a patient with visual field loss, what we're trying to do is help that patient detect obstacles that might be on their blind side. So we're using a prism to shift the image of something that's on their blind side to where they can see it. So the prisms almost act like an early warning detection system. So the temporary prisms only give you 17 degrees of visual field expansion, but they give you 100% certainty that the concept works for you. Normally the cutoff point is between four and six weeks that a patient will say, this is for me or this isn't for me. And if they come back, but they are positive about it, they feel that this is very helpful, then we replace the temporary prisms with the permanent prisms, which is a rigid prism that Chadwick then insert into the spectacle lens. So at first I use it for rehabilitation, to get myself aware of what's over there. And now I use it to help me expand my peripheral vision. The prism is a key to get them from really struggling to beginning to work back with their center of vision and um, you know getting back to uh, their life again. I mean, now I can get in my car, I can go to a job interview, I can go to work, I can come home, go to the store, go, to, go out to eat, do what I need, do what I want to do. It. It's not 100%, but it's, it helps you. I mean, every piece, every gain you can make is something. The people that I am working with that wear the prism get the most benefit for independent mobility, feeling safer, feeling more confident. Right now, this is the gold standard. This is how you treat people with hemianopsia. It's going to prevent them from tripping over something. It's going to prevent them from running headfirst into something. It's going to help them in crowds. It's going to help them in every life situation in which they're mobile. It's my mission to spread the word to really help these patients with hemianopia because there's a million of them in this country.